very good afternoon to one and all. I think uh, it's a very interesting topic which uh, Didac has given me a platform to speak upon. Having been a part of the sustainable uh, school, the Green School Bangalore, I'm talking about sustainability and the future of sustainability in education and how we are developing, educating uh, to become sustainable. This is all the topic about. So let's brainstorm. And after that, I'd like to hear something from you as well because this is a talk which is very closer to my heart. So every single country across the globe is talking about sustainability. Everybody wants to become sustainable. You heard about Denmark, you heard about Sweden. Everybody wants to become sustainable now and they're not uh, using any more as, uh, you know, cars and because emissions, they're talking about carbon emissions and stuff like that. So even at G20, Modi ji has said that uh, India is going to become zero emission very soon. And uh, he's given a target as 1950. Why do we need to have to make goals like this? Because we need to work on goals to become a zero emission country. So what is sustainability all about? Sustainability is nothing but a very long-term goal which is required for the economic growth. Keeping the environment, like least impact should be the environment. Keeping environment uh, not being affected at all. So that is what sustainability is all about. Now when we say sustainability, what comes into your mind? Is it only the natural world? Or it is only the fragile ecology? No. It's much beyond that. It's about, we talk about economics, and we talk about social, and we talk about environment. All the three are the pillars which paves towards the sustainable uh, you know, growth and the sustainable future. So we're not talking about economy and social when you talk about sustainability. We talk only about environment. It's not like that. I, ho I hope that all of you know what is SDG goals. That is Sustainable Development Goals. It talks about zero poverty, it talks about zero hunger, it also talks about clean energy and clean water, it talks about quality education, etc. You can even Google it. We talk about 17 goals from UNESCO, which we are working towards to become a sustainable planet. And these 17 goals, how it came about, because we're talking about economic, social, and the environmental related problems and issues. And there are 16 goals, the 17th is just the partnership with other countries globally across. So that is what the sustainable development, when that word comes into picture. So what is sustainable development all about? Sustainable development is just supports the long-term goal of sustainability. And uh, it is works on a system and framework, which has a framework and system across with its institutions or companies, or it is a business services. And they also supported by local, national, and the global bodies. We talk about how this sustainable word was connoted and why they talk about sustainability. Let's talk about that because the mineral resources, what we're using in our country or in our planet, it's very limited on this earth because these will get exhausted the way coal got exhausted. We don't even see coal nowadays. So, we have to preserve this mineral resources for our future generations. For example, the gas, petrols, and the diesel. All right? We do, we, they won't even know what is petrol and diesel later. That is, that is why we have to, you know, also have these natural resources like sunlight, air, and water, which we need to use along with this so that these natural resources could be preserved for our future generations to come. The society at large needs to play a major role to brainstorm on this and saying that how do we preserve this? So what are the sustainable, you know, uh, ways to make this happen? And that's where, that's where it will balance the economy, the environment, as well as the equity. That's important. So everybody asks, you know, why should we be sustainable? That's what the question is. Why not is my question. Because the world is changing and we need to change as well. So if we have to protect the planet, if we say that, yes, tomorrow we have to protect this flora and fauna and the plants as well as the animals around us, it's important to become sustainable. The whole question is, is it only the duty of the, you know, the business services to do this across? 
according to me being an educationist i feel education and school plays a major role in becoming sustainable and we have to take this baby steps many of us have done and many of us still have to do it how do we do it and how are we going to do it is the biggest question and that starts from the curriculum building curriculum building because when talks about sdg goals we need to incorporate the sdg goals within our curriculum right from our assembly right from our classroom right from our environment everything needs to be sustainable so why do we have to keep the environment sustainable because then we can take it to the community as well and say look we talk about recycle reuse and reject and we're talking about upcycling so all these things if the school starts doing because we talk about future generations these children are the ones who are going to be the future generations and the affected generations so that's where the whole change has to happen so let's all look forward to making that happen but again the question is when it comes to education everybody says how to evaluate it how to assess if you're going to bring in the changes immediately evaluation assessments and grading comes into picture so let's not look at only grading evaluation assessments let's look at something more than that that is appreciation of sustainability and the awareness of sustainability which is very important if i have to take a car to go somewhere can i carpool can i go by cycle that's what sweden is doing right now but we are ashamed to do that i am so and so i am a managing director i am supposed to be only driving a car and going i can't cycle to my office why not i think if every my indian mindset or every uh, human being mindset on a planet changes and say that we need to bring down the carbon emission and that's how sustainability will happen and this carbon emission you really you know you can convert into carbon credits and you can sell it to the companies there are many companies who are ready to buy carbon credits it's happening across the globe it's happening with our school myself we are doing it ourselves in our school then why not you please look into that and i will tell you how you can do it i'll quickly try to tell you a few pointers before i wind up from here how you can take up sustainability very seriously in your schools and your institutions and one is experiential learning how do you bring about experiential learning you put them in their real life situations you tell them to work in a farm how many schools are doing that to make the children grow vegetables what i eat what i grow is what i eat make that concept happen because across the globe there is going to be a food shortage very soon and we are very lucky that we aren't into that same kind of uh, situation what pakistan is going through and what uh, london is going through america is going through i am telling you like today we were fighting with pandemic tomorrow we are going to fight fight for the groundwater depletion so the a thing doesn't work the b should be there there should be b plan if a plan is not there and that's where the problem is we're not teaching our generation to say that if groundwater depletes then what is the next solution the next solution is convert the water or from the moisture and make it into drinking water this is what we are doing at our school and i think that you need to look into this to make the children sust be sustainable and make them think out of the box experiential learning it really helps the children do that making them le learn experiential learning cannot be done without life skills let me tell you it is a critical thinking decision making problem solving all this as to be part of experiential learning and people always say oh my school is a experiential learning school but ex exactly what the children are doing is nothing but projects project based learning and experiential learning is two different things if there is a lake near your school tell your children to do lake resurrections if there is a lab in your school make the children make a kind of thing along with you know using robotics coding etc and probably they can come up with some innovations and ideas you heard about green robots and that's what our children are trying to make for agriculture i think that you need to go a step ahead make them innovate many children are coming up with chatbots and these can be really used for agriculture and other purposes but you let the child come up with the design thinking ideas let them design spaces let them come up with ideas of becoming a young entrepreneur why can't we have a social impact project as a part of the projects in schools we're not doing that we just say make a project and use paper why paper 
again you're talking about a paperless uh, you know a sustainability uh, you know ideas then why do you have to make them do projects randomly which has got nothing to do with whatever they're going to use in real life suppose they make a waste management plant let me let them brainstorm so give them the knowledge and skills so when you're talking about experiential learning we're talking about project based learning then that is pedagogy so pedagogy needs to change then if pedagogy needs to change what happens is you need to train the teachers like that and that is andragogy huragogy and andragogy plays a major part along with pedagogy and that is where i think that you need to spend a lot of money on training your teachers to make them think out of the box so they can train the children to think out of the box and that's what we require to change this entire genre of making them think sustainable that's very important so i am saying that world is changing we are changing and the whole of the punch line of the didac is change makers i am a change maker you are a change maker so if you want to make a change and you want to bring about the change you need to be the change yourself thank you so much